Hey YouTubers, so we are going to be doing a repot on my silk tree. That's right, I've not shown this off yet, but this is my silk tree. I got it from eBay and I got it last year, I think. And it's just, I've had it under my lights and it's just gone crazy. It is just, all these new shoots are. The only original shoot going out was that one there. That was the only original, and no other shoots, and it's just gone crazy. And look, I've abused it, because I've had it out in, like, not the frost, but in the cold, when I've just been watering it, like, oh, yeah, just leave it outside the window. <laughs> it, 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 it throws hissy fits and goes yellow leaves. And then it just comes back and it thrives, and it thrives. But I'm going to do a repot today because it always dries out so quickly. And that, and then I abuse it, like I said. It dries out and it all, it all go yellow and come off. And it looks like I've killed it. But then it comes back after I water it. But I'm going to be repotting it in a pot I made. Yes, this is a bonsai pot that I have made myself. I made it a couple of weeks ago. I'll just zoom you in a little. So I made this out of air dry clay. Yeah, it's rustic. It's rustic. That is what you call a rustic bonsai pot. But I made it myself and it's going to be useful. It's what I need it for. And just to prove that there's my initials. GD. Yeah. I like Eminem. Marshall Mathers. So, Gizzy Greenfingers, I've got a second name, but you never know it. You never know it. You never know it. But yeah, I made that. I think that looks effing not too bad. I don't reckon it looks too bad. So, we'll take all the soil out of this. I'll just zoom you out a little. We'll take, oh, and I'll just put you right there like that. Oh, yeah. There we go. So we'll take all the soil out of this. It's going to be messy. And then we'll see what sort of root system we got and if we've got to cut it up or whatever. And I'm going to be using a Kadama pumice lava. Irish peat moss. Oh, a bit of Irish peat moss. Not a bit of Irish peat moss, yes, a bit of Irish peat moss. So, without further ado, we will get rid of my homemade pot. We'll just put you somewhere safe. We'll put that somewhere really safe. Oh yeah, and I waterproofed it as well. Yes, I waterproofed it. Because you've got to, because air dried clay is not waterproof. So you have to waterproof it if you're going to use it for bonsai pots. I just thought I'd put, put that out there, you know. Right, so I need some sort of contraption to. No, I'll just do it here. I'll just do it here. Let's just take that. Ah, oh, look at the mess already. Look at the mess already. Alright, let's just sort that out like that. Do something like what one is it? Is it that lever? Yes, it's that lever, that bloody lever. And then we're oh, what's what's going on with that then? Fucking crap shit. Right, and we go up. We go up a little. Right, so what we got in this? We go up a little bit more. Right, can you see that? So here we have it. Now we'll just break that up with our hands. Yes, don't be scared. Yes, I'm going to break that out of your hands. So that is just a root mass, basically. I can feel a root mass. So I'm just going to break the roots off that I don't want. Just massage. Massage those roots out like so. That's right. Look at that. 
Got a bit more, bit more girth there. Who doesn't love a bit more girth on that tree? I know I'd love a bit more girth on my tree. And I've just got some. So here we have a bit more girth. Look at that. That's good. Right. I know what you're thinking. You're bloody taking all those roots off. Don't worry. I've still got enough. But I'm a little wide. I just get rid of that like that. Just like that. Right, well, now we're going to put that to one side, my silk tree, and then I'll just get a dustpan and brush. I'll just get a dustpan and brush and um, clean up all my mess. Be right back. Right, you tubers, we are ready for action number two, which is we're going to be mixing the Akadama. And the pumice and the love rock and the Irish peat moss. But we need, we need my homemade pot first. Here we have it. That's my rustic homemade pot. I'm really proud of that. That's the first time I've ever made a bonzo pot. And I don't think that's a bad looking pot. I, I don't think that's a bad looking pot, Gizzy. Yeah, it's got to be delicious. I made it. I didn't lie. I made that. I made that rustic looking pot. It is going to be beneficial to my silk tree. Right. So I've got a mix of... Here's a mix I made earlier. I've always wanted to say that. Yes, I've always wanted to say that. Oh, uh, I'm going to want some mess. I am going to want some bloody mess. Right, let me make... Let me think of something. Be right back. Welcome back, YouTube. Is that a set? I found that. I found that, and that's perfect, isn't it? Yes, I made a little bit of mess, but we'll just put that back in, back in there, like so. Get rid of that. And just push that to the side. But yeah, it's my pot. So when you are doing this, you want to do that like that. Right, so I need to you stay there. You stay there. And you stay there. Oh, he made a mess. Right, so that's that's what we're having for that like that. Right, I need to new, make a new bat, so I'll be back.
gonna bring my homemade pot back into the mix and we'll get our silk tree somewhere in there like that. Oh, that's a look bloody epic that is. If you could only see Oh, don't do that, you're gonna fall. Don't fall. Don't you bloody fall. Yes, that's gonna look good. So how am I gonna do this? Well I was thinking I've made this homemade pot myself and I'm thinking if I put wires through the little holes, well I've waterproofed it, it's just gonna rub against when I'm tightening it, it's just gonna rub against the waterproof seal and break that and then liquid's gonna go into this air dry clay and then it's just gonna turn to mush. So I'm gonna do what Jason, my my work colleague, my friend, my friend Jason, Jason Steely. It's Jason Steely. You'll know of him from my channel. Um, he said, you want to do what Nigel Saunders does? And just get rocks and just put rocks on. So I'm going to find some heavy rocks after I've potted this. And we will go from there. But this this isn't going to be easy. Because this is a dry mix. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll do that. A bit of that. And then we'll do a bit of this now i'm a firm believer of firming down like so you see firm believer to get it <laughs> oh that's the ghost my room's haunted yes all right so we do that and then we we get a bit more of my my mix we go uh, some of that and then we just Keep compressing. That's it. I'm a firm believer of the compressing. Compressions. Heart compressions. You don't have to do those because of all the, um, all the vaccines. So I just compress that down like so. There we go. That's all, and that's good. I like that. That looks bloody good in my homemade pot. I want to use. I made this mix, so it will be bloody used. Oh yeah, some of that, my boy. Right. So you're using your homemade mix, Gizzy. I, I am. Yeah, I'm a firm believer of the old compact compactation. Is that a word? Probably not. But it's my word. Compactation. Yes. We'll have some compactation there. And when I water this, it will be a lot more... Um, a lot more firmer in the actual ground. I don't know if I can get all that in. Might as well. But when you water this, this will compact a bit more anyway. So... That mix I made, I think that was a good mix. And like I said, this tree just seems to do amazing. So, the bigger pot, more soil. That's it, that's all you're getting. That's all you're getting, my girl. Um, she should do amazing. I think. Yeah. So there we have it, you YouTubers. That is my Persian silk tree in my homemade pot. Yes, it's the rustic pot look. And that's what I was going for. Now, I need to get my watering can and give it a good water. I'll be back in a jiffy, ladies and gentlemen. So, YouTubers, we are there. This is it. This is my silk tree in my homemade pot that I made of air dry clay. I know. 
You didn't make that. I bloody did. And if you want to see me make a pot, if I get a lot of people wanting to watch me make one of these pots, I'll make it. I'll do a video. I'll do a video of me making my bonsai pot. Look at that. Oh, that's bloody good. You made that, Gizzy. I made that. And it's, it's doing a purpose. It's doing what I want because bonsai pots are so expensive. I, I can't afford it. So, you get five kilos of whatever. I don't know what. Let's move that to one side. What did I get? Oh. I've got a lot left. Oh, bloody hell. That's bloody heavy. Oh, oh that might have had my address on. So I might have had there. Edit that out. But yeah, that's how much you get. Yeah, I've still got loads left. I made one pot out of out of whatever's left. So twenty quid buying a pot, thirty odd quid. So you can see you can see the advantages that I've I've actually produced making my own bonsai bloody pot. So if you want to make a bonsai pot like Gizzy Greenfingers, then I suggest you tell him and say, yeah, I want to make one of them. How do you do it? How did you make that? What were your what were your highs and lows of making that pot? Yeah, I'd like to watch a video of that. So if you want to watch a video, then tell me and I'll do a video of making a pot. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. And if you have, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Ta-da for now. Gizzy Greenfingers.